Hey guys, it's Crowdy with Maricela. So today I'm going to make butter slime. And that's why you see model magic. So I'm very excited because this is my first ever butter slime ever that I'm ever going to make. And maybe this will be my last because I don't know how this is going to turn out. So first, I need my glue. heavy. <laughs> so now I'm adding an activator. So, and this is very strong activator, so for some people say you should add a lot, but I add enough. Cause, cause I'm probably not gonna play with this sign up. It's kind of coming together. So now we have made my slime, and I, we're going to um, put it out on the parchment paper. There we go. It's a good light line. And so now I think we should add my paint. So it's rose gold paint. This is a Ah, oh, there it is. It's all the rolls go paint. So I'm going to add a bit more. That's so now just mix it in. So mixing it. It's kind of tempting it. It's because, probably because I haven't stirred it up good enough. So. This looks so good. So this is my slime. It's going to be rose gold tinted. Yeah. I'm gonna keep and so I put some more in. Now I'm just gonna fold it over.
I'm oh, sorry, my hand. So you guys, so I'm opening the model magic, and I don't know if I open that right. Nope. So I'm opening it. This is my gonna be my first time ever feeling it. Besides outside the package, this feels like a marshmallow. I'm gonna keep stretching this and like kneading it so then I can put it in my slime and then it'll be nice and soft. So now I'm gonna put it in a tiny piece to start off with. This isn't really a butter some without more clay. Look at it. It's so satisfying. Literally, you could sleep on this and then it'd be fine, but then probably your hair. Whatever. Handle it. So. Look at that. Look at that. Clay is all up here. Time to mush it, mix it in. Oh, here's some more clay from the first one. This is just clay. So I'm adding my foam beads in to the slime. So I may add more or this may be enough. But I will know until I stir it. That's so satisfying. That was amazing. Working so well. I'm 
some more in. Now I love these foam beads, and I'm addicted to them. It's falling out everywhere. Foam beads everywhere. I'm gonna worry about those ones later. It's time. more time like this. My arms hurt. So I'm pouring in the glitter. So that should be enough for now. So I'm gonna close. And yes, I went a bit overboard with the um, foam beads, but that's fine. So. The slime is now extremely amazing. So now I'm gonna add some more glitter. So about to touch the paint. Well, um, that should be good. Let's say bye bye to the glitter. I barely even see the glitter. So much foam beads I found from glitter in the glitter pocket. I don't like when that happens. It's just like all of the glitter somewhere. Base. So bye guys. Hopefully you liked my slime. It did not call out the rose color, color that I wanted it to see because it's more of a peaches. But I still love it. This is one of my favorite slimes now because I put so much foam beads and so much glitter in it. I, I actually had to, I used one whole container, this rose gold one. Some of this one I'm going to save maybe for another video for a clear slime. It's like it's gonna be like a snow slime. And I'm gonna save this one because I love pink. It's my favorite color. I'm probably gonna use it another time. 
and I used some of this silver, but because I'm probably not going to use it, but I may use it in the future. And I still have a load of clay, and it's super stretchy. And I have some foam balls, foam beads left. So, yeah, and I have all of these different colored glitters I may use later in the future for uh, other videos. So, I, so, this is my slime in the end. It is humongous. And I filled with foam beads, and then I made my arm hurt very badly so this is one of the biggest ones I've ever made it's probably um, over an 8 ounce slime so so bye guys